And hi, hi. everyone. Hi, everyone. We are, Hello. <laughs> we are here with Claire, a Capui on Dwelling Book. We are going to review uh, a couple of replays from Top 4 Obelisk. And then we're going to go live, li like watch live streaming um, the last, the final match of the, of the Obelisk. Now... We should be Absolutely. able to... We got some really exciting upsets, I'd, I'd honestly say, going on in the earlier rounds of this bracket. And it's really amazing to see the uh, two people who ended up uh, in the finals. We got Gia versus JCVD. Yeah. Uh, both of them doing, uh, creating some really powerful players, which uh, we're going to look at now. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to put on my headphones. Huh. And we can start. Uh, I'm gonna go fast right. forward, right, Pui? Is it fine for you? Or do you think we should... Well, works for me. Yeah, we can just pause at spots where we want to take a look at things. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, Gia is starting. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, I think, I, think it, I, only I, think, caught the... I think it's too fast. Let's just go play. <laughs> First inflection point. Uh, summon virus, attack the face down. Kind of interesting to be using virus early here, but I guess uh, Gia had a sense that Labounty was on turbo and virus wasn't some I win button the way it usually is uh, against warriors. Yeah, also maybe... She ended up not being punished for it here. Maybe she read something like a spy. She tried to read a spy, so that's probably what. That's we... also true with the yeah. virus, uh, with the serpent. That's definitely a yeah. possibility as well. But it's gonna end up being a faith here. Yes. Yeah. Taking back book of Mom. See, I gotta say, early faith confuses me just a little bit here as well. Only in that all I can really get back is Book of Moon or Snatch Steel at the moment. He probably wanted to bait uh, a Nobleman or something and then be able to play the next flip he would draw. Or in the case he got lucky and draw a good spell card, he could uh, abuse of it. Because. Like, if you draw on Pot of Grid, using Pot of Grid, and then drawing for it four times would have been great, so... Also, there was... Yeah, like, I mean... His initial end has had nothing to play with, so... Yeah, no doubt. I just... Uh, it's interesting to me, the idea of, of baiting, baiting Knock with your Magician of Faith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Unfortunately... Sure, sure. Certainly doesn't help that uh, Bounty has no darks here with that BLS. Uh, if I recall correctly, that never really gets fixed, but we'll have to see. It's an unfortunate end for La Bounty, absolutely. Okay. Is someone serpent? Uh, <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> Pat, you should give me a stream link. I'm going to make an announcement to the people. The Absolutely. people have to know what's going on here. Absolutely. Uh, give me one second. Um, sure thing. Okay. Um, if, if you're with us from the beginning, if you're an OG, you already knew we were live. That's pretty amazing. Uh, but we have to let people know let me send what's you, going on. Let me send you the link. Oh. On that note, everyone who's watching, apologies uh, to, ever, to for this starting so late. Um, we had quite a, a run around to deal with. Perhaps if we got some downtime at any point, I'll, I'll recount everything that happened. But there was a lot of back and forth. Okay, that should put back VLS. Send you the link. Got it. 
do 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 Your keyboard is it's quite <laughs> quite soundy. <laughs> Good noisy. <laughs> All right, I remember this top tier tactic serpent beat down with the seventy seven hundred life points. What that's what's that going to be? That's going to be, I say, it's probably a million turn clock from La Bounty here. <laughs> Quite a threat. Maybe he thinks he's still warriors. Yeah. Now, all jokes aside, this of course uh, prompts Gia to have to do something. Uh, what that something is the question. This is a monster that can actually be walled out by a knight assailant. This is interesting. Why? Why, why would you? Why would you set a knight assailant here? Um, my guess is that uh, the serpent is a springboard for thunder dragon here. So getting that second thunder okay. dragon rid of like this is pretty effective. Once right. thunder dragons are out of the hand, a lot of you know turbo's unfair advantage is gone. Uh, unless of course they play delinquent duo on you, at which point uh, <laughs> they're still quite in the game. Fortunately for Gia, she does have the Serpent here, and it is picked by La Bounty. So Gia's going to have her pick of the other card. Serpent will be coming back. Asterisk on that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see why. What would you keep it? I would keep it. I would keep Cast Sorcerer in this position. Oh, I would keep Sorcerer. No qu is there a Light in Graveyard? Absolutely, yes, I think. No? No? Okay. No. Um, yeah, it's, that's that's I... a Okay. With with yeah with 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 a sail and I would keep the souk. Okay. Especially if Gi is lucky now, I think that she'd be trying to make sure that T Drag doesn't attack over this assailant because if you can start looping a assailant, that's quite yeah. a beat down. Uh, Eleven hundred per turn, and no face down can stick anymore. No attack is too safe. So this seems like a pretty good position for Gia, especially since the hand is just kind of faith in the same two spell cards, neither of which have much of a effect on this uh, lock. Okay, she chose not to... Okay, okay. She could negate, but she obviously she decided not to. She just destroyed it. Okay. Why negate when you can just yeah. top her pot Absolutely. of greed? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was just saying that's huge. That's a huge comeback for, uh, for Gia. Yeah. Oh, and there's the faith and the... Yeah, I remember this match. This match was... Pretty gruesome for La Bounty. Uh, looking at the amount of advantage uh, Guy ends up pulling, it's kind of hard to imagine him coming back, but Charity isn't a terrible pull to get the job done, especially with Sinister Serpent. Notice La Bounty gets back his Sinister Serpents uh, when he draws Graceful Charity. Yeah, I think Guy would negate here. I would, personally. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. And she does. You've got decent you know, handle. You know he has nothing to play, and if he play graceful now, it's probably because he just throw it. Because else he would have yeah. played before with a Sinister Serpent, so there's not really a big play La Bounty can do here. So mm -mm. She knows, she just keep her advantage with uh, Solemn Judgment. Yeah, to my knowledge, BLS would be like the only thing that would break this line this turn. It would have to be specifically BLS Banish. Um, and obviously that's not what we're going to be seeing from La Bounty here. Okay. I was just checking if everyone was fine on this stream. Excellent. Stream announcements got those fire reacts from <laughs> Necromancy for Kids. Shout out to Necromancy for Kids. <laughs> Welcome to the stream if you're watching. Is Moth gonna get uh, Pot of Grid? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what <laughs> else is it gonna <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tribe infecting virus? <laughs> I mean, once you get the Tsukiyomi and the Faith with the backup extra Faith and the Pwib plus the Serpent, I that's, can't I can't really see the huge... coming back here. This is quite a snowball. Yeah, that's a huge Nobleman also. Cause... 
Yeah, no question. That might have been LeBounty's way back in if somehow that faith uh, was able to flip, you know, get a Serp charity. But that is not in the cards. Yeah, also with another, Tsu like, with Tsukuyomi still in the end, he can loop it. It's, uh, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. And this is, this is like Assailant, but, you know, 5,000 times worse. Also, Gaia has the chance to put back, put La Bounty back one turn with Phoenix. So even that, it's yes. even like, yeah, this game, I think it's uh, it's predicted now. Yeah, no question. This is the kind of position where you can just time walk your opponent with that Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I mean, even if you're wrong about them not having a move to make, you're just so ahead that a, it doesn't matter. And the next draw too, you're going to get off this faith and the one after that. Not to mention the incoming Sork if either of the Faiths dies. Uh, this seems like a great position for Gia. Seems the bounty is going to try to uh, eliminate lights from the graveyard at the same time as removing the faith. Uh, this is a pretty wise move, I guess, yeah, given absolutely. the circumstances. Thinking hard on this here, but I believe if I call correctly, he does banish. Yeah, he he has to. Yeah, he absolutely has to. Problem is we got a. Problem is we have a pot of greed in hand, and eventually, like the bounty can predict, there's at least one discard trap or something like that. There's easy chance that Gia can put another light in the graveyard. Also, she draws mm -hmm. into Thunder Dragon, so Thunder Dragon and yeah. another upstart. Yeah, the cards are going to be moving quite fast at this point. None of this, none of this would be happening if either of these players were just playing Panda Burn. It'd be over already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, real talk. The bounty, the bounty picked Turbo for this tournament, and I, I'm actually really curious as to what his rationale was. We we know him most often as a reasoning main, you know, and not a reasoning main, a warrior main. A warrior, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Topped worlds with warrior, topped many tournaments with warrior, and this is a field with a lot of Turbo in it. So I was curious if. I guess he thinks that Turbo must be like beyond Warrior, or perhaps he was expecting a different field. I'm just kind of surprised to be I, seeing him on the deck. I think he expected uh, a different field. And I'm curious field. to hear his thoughts. Yeah, I think he expected a different field. That's why you would take Turbo uh, above Warrior. Like, if you don't expect many Warriors, sorry, many Turbos, you would probably go for, uh, for another deck and not Warrior. Mm hmm. Yeah, no question. I think. I think uh, Obelisk tournaments more than any other tournament we play, even Worlds, which was crazy like this. But I think it's all an information game. You got to have the connections. Yeah. You got to discuss. You got to review replays. Really try to make a read. You have to beat these eight players. These are the people you have to beat. Give them a soul read. What do you need to play? How do you need to play it? Um, and yet you still got to have the chops once you get there. I managed to bring Warriors to a field of, I believe, six Turbo decks and a Control. And I still managed to only go one two, so <laughs> you gotta have the chops. And LeBounty certainly has the chops, but it seems he has not made the read. Stop. If I were Gia here, I believe I would use the Pwib just to put that useless uh, card. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what she does. Uh, she's pretty sure that that card that LeBounty had no problem destroying is now going to be his next draw. Yeah, and that's pretty huge for. Uh... For Gaia, yeah, because she knows he cannot do any other move for the next turn, so... And After this... all of this, though, he manages to finally snag a, a decent threat in a position where Gia does not have a lot going for her to actually remove it. But her deck's so small, she still has a faith coming, so we'll see what happens.
think it's wise to play that extra defense here uh, just but, for the sake of, yeah. you know, avoiding a blowout. There's still BLS. There's still snatch back. Both of those could just kill her here right then and there. Now, as I said before, I believe this is the moment this happens. Wow. Yep. As I said before, Levante <laughs> makes sure to get a Surf uh, before using Charity. Gia did no such thing, as you can see. This is actually the second turn in a row she forgets Serpent, and it ends up costing her just a little bit. Uh, I had an, a brief little mini interview with her earlier, and she said the one thing she wants to do better in finals is really try to remember that Serpent. Um, yeah, I think online. But it's... who needs to remember Serpent when you can just draw Breaker and BLS at the same time? Absolutely. Also, I think online it's a little more difficult to remember Serpent because you don't have the card yeah. there, you know? So it's just. Yeah, it's not on the top, so I don't remember it. It's something that I see a lot of, even top player forgot, so. She she messaged me saying that she had a sticky note reminding her, and I mean, <laughs> I myself, whenever I'm playing a Serpent deck, I take my copy of Sinister Serpent and I put it against my uh, my laptop screen just to try and remember, <laughs> but you can still forget. Because it's a lot harder when you don't have... I've seen players do stuff where they'll just put it on top of the deck, so they literally can't draw a card without touching Sinister Serpent. Yeah. Now, looking here, we have uh, this Book of Moon on Sork as an excellent way to invalidate that breaker. But, yeah, yeah. That was seize insane. the banish, and that's going to be it. You can probably skip through the siding. Yeah. Uh, fast forward button. Game. Oh, there's the next oh, game button. Too. <laughs> yeah, there's the next game button, there's the fast forward button. I, all I, learned, uh, I learned it the other day, yeah. <laughs> it, fuck if I know why it's there. I just, it, it's, no one knows about it. And most of the time it doesn't even work when you click it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duelingbook.com is quite a website. Shout out to Duelingbook.com. <laughs> the bounty has a, an okay start, but it's not a start you want on turn one, probably. Yeah, that's for sure. You have good cards, I, um... but like... I forgot that the answer to my previous question is that Levanti is not just on Chaos Turbo. He's actually on Turbo Warrior Hybrid. Uh, okay. You know, something like Banana would play, something like Suski played, um, which obviously has a lot more success game too against Turbo in the Mirror. I'd say the only thing about Warrior is it has a worse turn one on the play Absolutely. versus turbo just like a situation like this where your only option is to sort of normal summon a thing you think won't die and indeed it's going to die but it's going to take breaker uh with it yeah, still and... this is now you know gears feel to kind of control the tempo of all of a sudden yeah and even if it doesn't die you like you know your opponent knows it's there so you're not gonna summon one more because of tt you're not gonna attack with two monsters because of Mirror Force. So you're always, like, you don't know if that monster is gonna resolve something, even if you summon it the turn uh, before, you know, so. No doubt. Honestly, uh, if I had a, a warrior lady there, there's an argument for just setting. You know, it seems like decent knockbait. Obviously, it probably would have blown uh, Gia's mind control, and worst comes to worse, you know, it, yeah. uh, there's still an attack on the breaker. And you still get to banish. Yeah, or don't do not banish if you don't want to in that position. While on the other side, what we saw happen is that he had to banish. So that's true. And he does gain that option, and then could have summoned something like Blade Knight, set three, or Breaker, or something, and gotten over the uh, wasted Breaker. This is going to be a decent position for Le Bounty, it seems, yeah. just because he's the one with a, a, a warrior up to bat. With, a, with two playable card. Locked. Yeah, with two playable yeah. card, while Gia has one, two, three dead cards, and an Eevee Storm that you don't really want to use here. So, mm -hmm. what Gia can do is pass his, her turn, so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't see this going anywhere. Oh, okay. Now the bounty's in full warrior mode with the solemn and everything. Is he gonna do the whopper? I. I mean, I would. What do you not?
can't recall exactly whether or not Gia he is it. playing Torrential. He's doing it. He's doing it. But he saves the snatch, which is yeah. probably for the best. This is a decent two-turn clock for Le Bounty. Um, and Gia does not have a good answer. Uh, that almost was a good answer. And it would have been the turn before. Correctly. Now, she can, of course, uh, use it on draw phase before Le Bounty has a chance to do anything else. Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon is gone, so chain Mystical Space Typhoon to uh, put the hand down to one won't be an option. So, um, still removable um, via that window with ring. It's just less than ideal, even if Le Bounty's going to lose half his life points to Solemn here. Yeah, the problem is La Bounty knows that he cannot lose three cards and he needs a monster on the field to put pressure. Oh, so, no doubt. You saw him yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... And then, yeah, there's that ring in the draw phase. That's huge. I think I would have waited and maybe wasted a Phoenix Wing Blast, you know? I don't know, but I, I would have waited probably. To still, like, gain one turn. And this is over. Oh, yeah. that's going to be all she wrote. Summoning the Blade Knight before the duo. It's a, I... it's a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, that was completely avoidable. That just turns off the Wing Blast, and then the game's over. Although now the Wing Blast is solidly wasted with Breaker on deck. Uh, card in the hand's going to be discarded. Basically puts Gia in top deck mode, despite having a set. Yeah, it's very hard to come back from this. Uh, yeah, I mean, La Bounty... if yeah. that's too big. La Bounty, it's not in a good position, but what Gia can draw to get it back? He need, she needs to go, draw into Trinity and see more options. So. Yeah, she needs to draw a large enough monster that uh, LeBounty has to Torrential Tribute. Yeah. Um, because if it's too small, then even even Sinister Serpent now uh, can just get snatched stolen. Yeah. So it's going to be Gravekeeper Spy. Yeah. That's, and she uh... sets that. I like that a lot. It's not going to matter with this much defense and Heavy Storm gone and Nobleman set too. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. In this position, it would have been probably been a good idea to summon an attack and just try to push with a spy. Because, again, the Nobleman can just take out your game, you know? For sure. I liked the notion of trying to get the 2400 all at once. And here's going to be that spot I was oh, yeah. talking about. That's not big enough. Yeah, the bounty does not need a torrential. And that should be all she wrote. Yeah, GG for the bounty. Snatch. Hi. I see your announcement. Okay. Okay. Uh, next game. So do we think that LeBounty is going to stay with the Warrior stuff game three? My guess is yes, especially on the draw. Yeah. Server says yes. Now, we see in uh, LeBounty's hand something that I'm going to call Funny Jar, uh, <laughs> which is a special tech that's been thrown around by some... Uh, if you play Morphing Jar against Turbo, there's a really high likelihood they actually can't uh, avoid having their cards discarded because it's a large quantity of monsters compared to other decks. So in some cases, you can get away with flipping a Morphing Jar that completely reloads your hand and does not leave them particularly better off compared to before. Unfortunately for the Bounty, Gia has uh, four spells and traps in hand, one of them being Delinquent Duo. So that's not going to work as well as usual here. I'll say this, I don't like morphing as a good option for uh, turbo decks. Because it may... First no, off, I don't think so. Yeah, because, like, if you can... Uh, uh, like, if you can keep in your hands, like, Sinister and Thunder Dragons, those cards 
if they get this card and then you see three more cards or five more cards like you're gonna like you're gonna use them you know you're gonna see the trinity you didn't see yet the nobleman you didn't see yet so same as card destruction only guaranteed yeah. plus not to mention he is also playing assailants and le bounty was on the draw which generally the idea of this is is you're on the play so you do it first thing and you know they do their t set pass uh because they don't want to just get countered hard and then they get countered very hard as you you know get this mega plus off yeah pot's gonna even things back up a little bit if bounty can get the jar to go off this game might be uh swinging in a very different direction for him but only time will tell. I don't know if I would set Jar here. I mean, it's not predictable. Even if it's like if you do the set, set free move, you wouldn't think at a Jar right away. Unless no you way. saw it. Uh, no way. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, I agree with Labounty. I would wait. We'll wait. There's still chance to use it in a better spot and gain advantage. Absolutely. Huge. <laughs> or he can top Heavy Storm <laughs> again. That's uh, that's huge. We got a we got a Lucker bastard on our hands here, but I love to see it. I will let everyone know right now. I'm biased. I want Gia to win. <laughs> she's in. She's been working hard at this. Uh, she was in Obelisk twelve as well, I believe, uh, with a slightly worse finish. Um, definitely not on account of the deck she was playing. Um, must have just uh, been an unlucky day um, because that deck should have been, you know, quite an easy victory. But she's playing something different today. She's playing something quite interesting today. I've gotten a peek at her uh, list of turbo, and there's a lot of stuff going on uh, that we'll be seeing in the final, as we're seeing right here. <sighs> I won't second. spoil too much. Mm -hmm. And that's all without mentioning JCVD's list, which... Oh my god. Uh, have you have you seen this list at all? Not at all. No, not yet. Oh my. It's well, there's so it much later. going on. I'm <laughs> not gonna spoil everything, but I got some words from him on some choices and that it's... deck is not predictable whatsoever. <laughs> it's doing just so many things at so many times. Um, he's been playing it for a long time. Um, he actually did recently, along with his team in three V three uh Deutsch Siegen, uh, managed to uh, get well, I rid maybe, of... I maybe saw it then. I think I saw it then. Yeah, yeah it but... was. It, I think it was one of the longest games in the entire 3v3. I think it was streamed, and it was versus uh, Crash Volt, which is one of Gia's uh, yeah. Ultra Instinct teammates. And it was I a win, so. and, then, and then JCVD's teammate had to leave, and they were eliminated. <laughs> so it's uh, quite an unfortunate end to things. We got a message here from IMV1. Uh, let me share. I'm not using two screens today, so it's gonna be quite different. But I think I managed to <laughs> to set it up now. Okay. I think I think uh, dwelling book is a little bit too high. Let me reduce it. Okay. You got volume on your dueling book. No, I got, I got volume on my OBS, so that they hear less. Ah. <laughs> wow, wow! <laughs> Dueling Book makes just the most jarring sounds. <laughs> and uh, speaking of jarring, I think if there was ever a time, it would be around now. Oh, it seems that Mystic is gone. Uh, I've seen some people doing Mystic Swordsman. As, as tech in their turbo. That was done on me recently. It can be quite nasty. Um, it's very unexpected, yeah. It is uh, a lot harder to uh, counter than, you know, a nobleman or a mind control um, besides just, you know, a solemn. You, know, you can just kill it, but in exchange you get a lot more longevity. Uh, now this is a position where Jar is going to be quite good. Now, obviously... A bounty can't quite know this, but this whole Souk Moth loop could get shut off 
pretty quickly and undone by a good jar. Also, double souk, it's crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> Double souk, losing Cause... both of your souks yeah. like that would be unfortunate. Yeah. Let's see what Gia draws here, though. She and takes duo. There, the dream is dead. The dream is dead, folks. Now, if, if I am the bounty, I am rethinking my life choices right about now. <laughs> and if I wasn't before, now I definitely am. Got the Torrential too, so any sort of summon is going to be pretty devastating. Does LeBounty have any spells of, of any worth in his graveyard? Is he even playing Mind Control no. if he's playing Mystic Swordsman? He didn't There's have... the BLS. He didn't have anything. Yeah, but I don't think he can need summon a BLS. Can't even summon it. No. Because he Couldn't used summon the BLS, and BLS would be met with Torrential Tribute. Yeah. Only one way out here. Give Gia more cards. I would take again the Link and Duo, you know. Uh, okay. Just just to put pressure on the fact that he has to set or summon. So and if he doesn't, I can use it. So it is tough. She's taking a heavy storm. This is pretty interesting. There are no yeah. lights. I don't know what uh, you know. Gia would be afraid of, especially because she can uh, use a Souk, and then when the Sork is flip summoned again, she can just torrential. Yeah. And you don't want, exactly, and you don't want to use Yves Storm now. Because, or, or even later, you don't, you want to abuse of that uh, Torrential Tribute. Interesting. That's very interesting. It is going to be punished immediately with a nobleman. And yeah. But I think it's better this way, you know? Like, if you. Like, if you lose a Tsuguyomi or a Dekoichi here, it changes a lot. So, far better to lose a Tsuguyomi here. For sure. And she's drawn her own Sork, which is. Not playable. No. Mm, she needs to set the Koichi now and pass. And there's they're set to Koichi pass. Yeah, because Nobleman is gone. If she wants to get a little jiggy with it. She can go summon to Koichi torrential. No, okay, she's not yeah. gonna go for that play. Um, probably for the best. Yeah, I this agree. is the play of wisdom. Uh, this is not a great position for Labanti. I am noticing here if. Gia were to have taken duo, then she'd actually be in a worse position here drawing the spy. Um, I think that she specifically didn't take duo. Yeah, so I mean, put lights in graveyard. I mean, it's hard to tell if he has Chuka's monster on the on the hand in hand. You Absolutely. Know? So yeah. like, this is of course all hindsight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the rationale is Gia is so close to just putting a lethal amount of damage on the board at any moment that. Uh, this enables her to make sure that goes uninterrupted if ever the opportunity arises. Yeah, absolutely. She just need to get rid of the opponent's Zerk and then attack with two monsters and it's game because she has the storm. Yeah. So. For sure. I think we can probably just click next playthrough. Yeah, know, absolutely. Dead times like this. Yeah, we don't need to see the think emojis. I think this is the best thing that was added to Dueling Book, and at the same time, I am completely perplexed. I'm going to think we're going to see the Torrential here. Torrential? No. Okay. Oh, wow. I uh, would have. Well, who needs Torrential? Who needs Torrential when you have BLS Graceful Charity? Yeah, but he didn't know he had Graceful Charity, so... <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't. This is... I would... I... Yeah, now, now it's Pretty crazy. Sure torrential was just game. Torrential was the right and move. Then you summon... Exactly. Well, it doesn't matter. She found all of her chaos monsters at once and an extra light, so. 
this is uh yeah well that's <laughs> crazy <laughs> and we got big we got big porco dio hours out here what a draw from gia you love to see it if your name is claire F's in the chat for Rampage, but we'll be seeing Levanti again soon, I'm sure. He was also in Obelisk 12. These are both uh, returning Obelisk customers, quite reliable players, it seems. And BLS is going to seal the deal. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one that I need to find. <laughs> so give me one second for chat. Here I am. One. And we're gonna see JCVD now. Tell me if it's shown. Yes, we're gonna see this goodness against another quite established Rampage player. I think it's both Rampage. We got Ghost Rider 15 here, a Chaos Turbo veteran. Curious to see what his deck configuration looks like. And of course, we're gonna start off with JCVD's wild deck. Now we <laughs> see both a creature swap and a premature, which are both kind of uncommon to control and turbo these days, so I'm curious to see where that goes. Ghost Rider's hand looks pretty good at not allowing a monster ever on the field, uh, which is pretty useful against a turbo mirror for sure. Huge. To open up with a duo. That's huge because sniping now... the. Yeah. That's absolutely huge. But having the Nobleman still makes uh, JC having a little bit of edge, because the only monster Ghost Rider has is the Night Asylum, so... Yeah. But again, of Ghost Rider has also a Nobleman, so... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just the lone set of sand. This is interesting to me. If I were Ghost, I would have put down at least a Book of Moon because if something is attacking into this assailant, you get a chance to loop it. Not going to be the case here, though. We're just going to see the nobleman. Okay, no set assailants in Jason. Set merchant pass. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to set Muff now? Yeah. Slamming the nobleman. How many is he playing? <laughs> Two. Quick, apparently, we got a we got a full on go control it, here. It's two thousand. I, I called it chaos control before, but that wasn't right. It's two thousand and fourteen, and uh, back again <laughs> with two magical merchant. I don't know. Okay, what Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider has no place. Like. Zero. No. I think the only thing he can do is set a bunch knowing that Heavy Storm isn't coming, except that yes, it is. I mean, I, I would use Jar of Grid to see if I can find something playable, you know? Oh, no question here. Especially yeah. if, you know, it's yeah. not baiting out Heavy Storm. Here we go. Exactly. Ah, see, see, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And with so many Book of Moon... Even if it's crazy, I would go attack and then set Book of Moon and pass. Yeah. Not the know. worst idea in the world. Now what we're going to see. I, I would do it. Seems to me some, the, some of these really good turbo players are quite conservative. They know they're always yeah. going to get an extra shot. Especially in a more control versus mid-range sort of matchup like we've got here. Possibly sure. against something like, you know, Reason and Gator Panda. That other option's better because you can rush down that damage and then surprise them with a sort of defense. We're going to see... All right. Okay. Ghost is going to time walk uh, JC here. Ghost, of course, probably banking on the draw two coming, plus an extra book down if need be. But Breaker plus MST is a pretty good rip for Ghost uh, for JC here. Judgment. Okay. Judgment. That's how important this is. Because you want to keep the Dekoichi on the field, yes. Oh, no question. No question. Mm -hmm. He's living or dying by this uh, Dekoichi at the moment. The question is, is he living or dying? Who is camera is frozen. Let me check. Oh, no. Now you are not. 
No, it's, if it is, it's my it's my fault, because uh, capturing the screen it's a little bit tricky with Discord, but we made it work. All right, and just like that, Ghost is kind of back in things. Yeah, absolutely. Got some semblance of a clock being represented here. A little bit of defense. Interesting. Interesting. Well, you know, he knows there's no. JC no giving storm. us the die roll destroy. Gonna be punished for that. Yeah. What's your What's your opinion on blind MST? Uh, I I use it if I'm sure I I have a play next turn. And I, I don't think JC had that play next turn. Like, even now, even now, the only good play he has is Magician into Torrential. <laughs> and, uh, no, for real, like... No doubt. Yeah. We're gonna be seeing... Break Who's got the Torrential set? Is that Ghost or JC? Yeah, but again... I mean, that's fine. Oh, yeah, no, it's JC. But Ghost can... Yeah, it's JC. But Ghost can use the Book of Moon. Uh, now, I, I think it's... Fink. Could also save yeah. to go with... Interesting. Right. Interesting. Did he book down the Breaker? Oh, yes. my God. Okay, Ghost is going for the throat here. And that's... Unfortunately, and that's another an upcoming... Yeah. And that's another strange play. That's another Breaker. Yeah. You don't want to to have Torrential and Magician of Fate at the same time. Because uh, you don't want to really use Torrential now. Instead, I would have used Torrential on the on the Summon. And if he oh, negated... No and, um, yeah. and if he negated, I, I would have... Uh, yeah, right. I think the play from JC was Flip Summon Faith, tra uh, Chain Torrential, Grab Prima, Attack with... Uh, yeah, a prima breaker. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Ghost is going to have the heavy storm here, and kind of some free reign over the board. And you're gonna be seeing a. I would flip the fate and get back Book of Moon, or Book Nobleman. Moon. Nobleman. You have I was Nobleman. thinking Nobleman. Nobleman. I was thinking Nobleman. Yeah, I didn't saw it. Yes, absolutely. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's gonna be noble men. said Necromancy said it's a very flattering picture uh, at least, lol. <laughs> Talking oh, about you. So kind. <laughs> <laughs> now that is gonna be the end of both players' magicians of faith, including any recurrence of this one, unless Ghost's Plague is soup. So any Trinity pieces coming are going to be one and done, and we are in top deck mode. What a and terrible that's a, card to see That's a very dead, dead draw, yeah. This is not looking good for JC. I think life points are the only thing he has on Ghost at the moment. <laughs> right, <laughs> JC is playing uh, a tech one of GK guard. No Gravekeeper spies, just the guard. Um, <laughs> Very interesting. Take notes, people. This is the future of Go Control here. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm kidding or not. I I will try anything in Go Control. It's. I remember playing two spies and one guard in 2016 in Go Control. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's. That, yeah, me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, for the record, I only got here like a year ago. <laughs> tell me, tell me more, please. <laughs> the... <laughs> Well, it was, it was like, Spy, it's a new thing, because of Warrior, but I remember playing it quite often, both in the main and in the side deck of Good Control, in uh, 2015, 2016, because back at, back, back at that time we were still playing Exarion. And so, having Spy was a nice out, well, not an out, but like a nice response to, to Exarion. Especially because you wouldn't use so many scapegoats, you know. Because mm. in today's meta, you would always use uh, 300, uh, like three uh, scapegoats and free meta, 
In that meta with Exarion you would go with two scapegoats at best. You wouldn't use three. Yeah. Cause of cause of that card, yeah. Exarion Exarion was it goes to sixteen hundred and then it pierces, right? It's uh, eighteen hundred and then it pierces losing four hundred. Right, so it's fourteen hundred yeah. pierce. Okay. That's still a pretty pierce. sizable body. It's huge, yeah. I'm grateful that's not in goat not to mention <laughs> that gets under messenger of peace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in case that matters to anyone. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't think it does. I don't know. Because uh, it, it... I don't I don't know if he can attack. Because he loses attack after oh. he attacks. So... Oh, yeah. okay. All yeah. right. It's not, yeah, like yeah. A, it's not like a trigger <laughs> ability kind of thing. Yeah. Like a, like lad, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think that Gravekeeper's Guard might be a little bit underrated, especially in, you know, these control decks. I think... At the moment, we aren't seeing a lot of spy in a chaos control shell, but if it is there and you're playing suit, especially if you're playing, you know, more than one suit, you know, you get you get diminishing returns from recurring spy and suit. But as soon as you have guard in the equation, all of a sudden you can start recurring bounces. I think, and usually that 100 but, defense, you know, deficit isn't a huge loss. I think in the mirror match isn't a huge loss. It's a huge loss uh, against warrior. That's why you wouldn't no play doubt. it. Yeah. Uh, it's not a... a topper. A yeah, that's charity. it's very good. But yeah, you wouldn't. You would use it. It, like I think it's very good against the Turbo Mirror match. I don't think you would play it against Warrior, for example. But it could be a, a, a very good side game. option. Yeah. And now, what do you discard? <laughs> um, if. If JC is feeling saucy, if he's feeling if he's feeling very saucy, feeling very confident, the play is discard Solon, summon Lady, book and flip up the guard, bounce a spy, steal a spy. One yeah, second. but you would use yeah, no problem. You would use all your resources to not make such a great move, in my opinion. But yeah, you need to be very confident. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a ruling expert of uh, Exarion. Sorry, uh, I sh I don't even remember how exactly the card works, so I should go read it. Time for Google. <laughs> Exarion versus Messenger of Peace. <laughs> during during your battles, what the heck is the battle step? Is that the damage step? No, it's it's after you declare an attack and before you enter the damage step. It's where you activate Ring of Destruction, Book of Moon, but after you activate uh, Sakuretsu Armor. Man, they're they're naming steps on cards I haven't even heard of before. <laughs> my my quote. Get this card out of goat format. You confuse me. You hurt my brain. <laughs> And my quote on on the rulings and games mechanics is that if you ask 10 people what is the damage step, they will give you 10 different answers and all of them they will be wrong, you know? <laughs> that's, that's, this, uh, this, um, this match is sponsored by Pui's uh, noisy keyboard, so. <laughs> you know, I get, I get. I get people mad at me over my keyboard. I get it. I, like in my house too. <laughs> I'll try to. People have TV on. I'll be trying to duel, and they'll just hear, and they're like, "I I got evicted. I got evicted from the TV room yesterday. It's a curse." <laughs> it's a very. That's oh, a very. No. I've been told my screen is frozen again, and it looks like I'm in the middle of a sneeze. You shouldn't, though. Shout out to Ian. Shout out to Ian JB. Thank you for letting me know that I look like someone just, like, shoved a peppercorn up my nostril. <laughs> let, let me know if now it's fine. It should be still fine. I don't know if the people can see my dance. But it's a very good dance, so I, I sure hope so. 
Uh, what do we got here? We got a super complicated yeah. board state. Yeah, I'm gonna go fast forward. I look, away, to I look away for two minutes. What has happened here? <laughs> they they kept uh, they kept doing this. Like uh, they kept setting and and waiting. JC draw a drop. He didn't dash go. Shot. He didn't go for the kill. No, he didn't. Oh, that's disappointing. I mean, I guess it wasn't a kill. I didn't do the math right when I named it all, but I think it was a thousand pretty plus. Good footing. I think it was kill. Yeah, it was kill because it was three thousand five hundred. Uh, three thousand seven hundred. Yeah, so it was a kill. Well, he would still have to hit. He would still have to hit through. The but there was with it, lady. Okay. Okay. So no, it would it wouldn't be yeah it wouldn't and also there it was a lethal, but you just kind of go for it. There was a set guard also, so I don't know. I wouldn't have risked it as well. But Good I would question. have. Also, if you're tell me. Hmm? Oh, I I was just gonna say JC's deck is uh is very stally. We'll we'll be seeing more later. But if I were JC, I would see that I have eighteen cards in my deck and fourteen cards in ghosts, and I would just keep sitting there. Oh, okay, that could be an option, yes. That's gotta hurt for Ghost right there. No. Never mind, it doesn't at all. <laughs> That's interesting, because now... Yeah, you have to Solemn, but now your ring is dead. Now so, your ring sucks. Yeah. But one one thing you can do is, when you flip this, uh, putting back in and the Sorcerer, if if they if uh, ghost attacks you, so mm -hmm. ghost is thinking if it's the time to use a, a judgment as well probably. It doesn't. Okay. Is that a, I think this game is gonna be decided by ring of destruction. Oh, probably. Yeah. Be a good, also, a good also you have ja okay, it's it's game ring. it's 100 percent oh it game. is already game yeah oh no 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 wait i remember what happens here i remember what happens here <laughs> i'll give you i'll give you one guess it uh it killed both it's a drop it with pie it's a it rhymes with pie yeah I'm not it's, solemn can't help that, so we're gonna go to game 1.5, as I like to call it. <laughs> so it's game one again. <laughs> game one, two, the reckoning. <laughs> Only now JC's drawn the royal decree, and he's on the play, and Ghost has no answer for this merchant plus souk. I stand corrected, there is Quib. You going to see it here? No. I'm not afraid of the first set. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, the World's worst delinquent duo. <laughs> well, I mean, delinquent do nothing. If you eat, if you oh. eat, if you eat one of the trap, like the the book or the phoenix, it's actually quite nice because the other knight of silent is not gonna add anything. So that is the truth. There's yeah. also a 50, 50 chance of delinquent do nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And they think it's coming. No. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. We do know JCVD wins yeah. this, so okay. Yeah. That's huge. There we go. That's huge because now he has to discard the silent. You don't want to discard the book of moon. No doubt, and, but there's no value there. Yeah, exactly. But there's no value, so it's a very good delinquent duo. This said. Ghost Rider has another Knight of Silence, so if he can discard it, he can get back another and start looping a little bit. Not as much, but still. Mm-hmm. And the... Oh, interesting. Interesting. He discarded the Book of Mon. If he chains the ring... I would go for Creator Swap in this uh, in this spot, even if like it's a Sangan, 
He uh, Dan Gan. Yeah. Also, JCVD has a. Oh, he can chain the creep. Yeah. He's got Royal Decree. Yeah. Very good. This is a very good spot for him. Yeah. But now Ghost Rider knows that he has a dead card in hand. It's the tribute. So. Because he added Does it. Does Ghost with... know about the torrential? Yeah, he added it with uh, Merchant. Ah, but... Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's gonna be unfortunate for JC, but I understand why he had to swap when he did. He doesn't really have good answers for Spy, especially with Torrential off, so if that was a Spy, it does need to be moved out of the way. Yeah, and also could be even better than a Spy, so could be a Deco or something That's like true that. That's true, too. Fortunately, I'd say worst case scenario for that swap right there, especially with the Assailant getting set. That's gonna be straight pluses for Ghost Rider, but speaking of straight pluses, we have Merchant to the merchanting. You. And that's Honest why. Decree. And that's why My you. Favorite. Yeah, and that's why you don't play merchant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a silly card, especially when you're trying to get these deck outs. However, this does open up the avenue of chain torrential, chain MST to decree. Yeah. And then have another decree yeah. on the. Yeah. But on the back burner. Could be good, but very specific and very situational i think like there's not many ways you you want to do that like doing a minus three or four to to get rid of one card but yeah the position jcvd is uh could be good why didn't he destroy the, his i did this one i didn't understand he what, could destroy the yeah he could destroy sangan I think he just wants to cut off any more advantage generation here, okay. especially because now he's just got two monsters that can do the job just fine. Absolutely, yeah. Just set spy here looks pretty yeah. good to me. Yeah, there Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. And now, oh now my you're god! See that oh, never mind. <laughs> well, oh that's that's a perfect draw. That's that's a topper. Yeah, yeah that's a perfect draw. See, I understand the, the value of Merchant and Goat Control when, you know, your actual individual monsters aren't so important. So a card draw like that is more likely to be gained if you're, you know, milling monsters. Yeah. And if it is the spell you mill, then you get it. Um, I think we might possibly be seeing the most brutal Sangan beatdown or maybe just Set Faith. He's a mystery. For now. <laughs> oh, okay. They from the I don't know how to say it in English, so I'm just gonna say it. Basically, they are telling me that your uh, webcam is is blocking because you are you are reducing Discord as an icon to an icon. Okay, so every time you reduce the icon, you to icon, it's uh, it's gonna block on the stream, basically. Oh. Okay, yeah, try use alt tab. Well, let's not do that then. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. If... Okay. We're uh, we're not gonna do that then. <laughs> he took creator swap. Interesting. You know, I see the value of that. This Sangen is not... It, yeah. It's a bit of a liability on this board. Uh, versus... Yeah, there's a stolen Knight Assailant. Mm. Giving him back the... I would have given him the Tsukuyami, actually. Yeah, I, I would have just waited the turn. Okay, want to get rid of the Sangen. I don't know Sangen. if JC has enough of a read to know that Ghost doesn't have a follow-up if that Sangan doesn't die, and that he can't kill the Sangan. Here comes Faith, which even if it's destroyed by Assailant, is going to enable the BLS. Yeah, the problem is that uh, JC has a Moth set, so he can both use Creator Swap or Nobleman, and in both case scenario, Black Luster Soldier will remain dead. So, Nobleman of Cross out is certainly yeah. a card. I didn't even notice there was a Fate set. This yeah. is such a strong position. Yeah, it's huge. And Ghost Rider knows. See... So, 
Mm-hmm. You know, say what you will about magical birch and goat control, you know, being kind of slow, but... We do not see these, you know, four monster hands Some... from goat control. Oh, smart yeah, one. This is this is a big brain play for yeah, Ghost smart right here. One. I would have the strong. I'm a big fan of that. It's interesting. The extra I love the strong. Yeah. Oh, it it has to be an opponent yeah. monster in yeah, its yeah, inventory. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Oh right, because he can Why? just turn it. And... He knows the set's faith, right? Yeah, he does. He knows he knows creature swaps coming, right? Creature swap anything basically because he has also Nobleman. Yes, Nobleman Sook. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's uh, it's no. Oh. I don't know. I would have preferred to leave the Knight of Silent there, you know. Mr. Lopez, good work. Unfortunately, your work is for nil. I wonder what fun ways this BLS is going to get messed with. There it is. Game two. I'm going to be seeing Fusilar Dragon. The dual mode beast from JCD here. To start He's with got cards in this deck I don't even remember him having. I've looked at this deck <laughs> twice now. It's insane. The <laughs> amount of, you know, I, I would call them fun ofs, but they are good. He's in finals for a world's invite, so maybe not so fun. Swordsman. Oh, this is going to be potentially nasty here. To start with Storm? Absolutely. <laughs> Probably. This is like going warrior mode, honestly. Yeah, you follow up with Swordsman, Torrential Decree, pass. <laughs> and if it... Okay. Force is the Solemn. I, sorry, we're not even going to talk about the Mystic Swordsman and Goat Control? Oh, well, that's... My bad. Inside deck. That's a Mystic Swordsman and Goat Control. Yeah. There's so much going on. He doesn't even need to use the charity here if he doesn't yeah. want to. No, he doesn't have to. to. No, I wouldn't. And you can wait the next turn. Also, it's interesting because like in... In still in 2016, 2015, I was playing uh, like a good control with some warriors in the main deck, like a full toolbox with like all, the one copy of each good warrior and two uh, reinforcement of the army. I'm sure there's some version of that. Somehow that is viable. Absolutely. And we've seen some people take a stab at it. We also have seen, you know, Warrior Goats as its own thing. Mm -hmm. We got Crash Volt been with that for a long time. Alice has been working on something. It's so easy to just, you know, put these overpowered normal summons that are searchable into your deck. There's got to be some way to balance it out. Um, I'd be curious to see, you know, what the 2016 meta was looking like and what the uh, it was uh, totally locations different. of that package were. Was totally different. Is so, it not that different? No, it was very different, and there were also many less, like very a lot of less people, like much many less. Yeah. People. How do you say it? Very few people. <laughs> yeah. Um, more more online, like online there were there were still like already a lot of people, but like where we were playing, we were like 10, 20 people at best. So. That's crazy. It's been it's been you know wonderful jumping into this community when I did because it feels like innovation's been turbocharged all of a sudden. You know, pun intended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turbo went from being a thing that people were calling you know flip turbo to the monster we see before us today. Yeah. And everyone else has been in overdrive trying to adjust and create some new things. I feel like every deck's gotten a massive overhaul uh, in the last year even. In some ways, I don't even know, you know, if we'll ever go back. They might just be permanent developments. We will see. 
there's there's still time no question <laughs> what are some strategies you think that you know could potentially come back that you've seen in the past mm, let me, oh well there, there's this thing to say most let's talk about the cyber char <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> I, I expect at least one limiter removal in this deck, or, or I don't want to say. <laughs> Got interesting. I mean, obviously he's playing Metamorphosis. There's a possibility here. I wonder if he's playing, you know, yeah, maybe he's playing X Head Cannon, just as a beater. <laughs> Unaffected by Skill Drain. All right, we're not going to see that go off, unfortunately. Huge. And anyone. That's a big ouch. But it's not one that JC isn't going to be able to come back from. Yeah, JC has still a graceful charity to use, so... Oh my Ooh. god! <laughs> That's What's not that? good. Yeah, I it, wait, wait. Roll, roll the tape back, say what you will, but this deck's never going to have a handful of monsters. Well, here we are. <laughs> and JC is both saved by and dead to the Royal Degree. Yeah. Right. We, got, we got Set Faith Prey over here. I want to just yeah, skip through this. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, sometimes I uh, I don't remember it's a replay, so. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Ghost Rider did a lot of thinking there to play an upstart goblin. Wondering what was on his mind. Maybe he thought he had lethal or something. We get Charity, you know, take two from JC. And this one's probably going to be a little better. Just have a feeling. Yeah, Call it intuition huge. If you must. Huge. You know, maybe he's playing Dimension Fusion too to get that. Metamorphosis. No, I mean, man, come on. <laughs> I don't think he's playing it. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. <laughs> listen, listen. What is he? What isn't JC playing? Would, would be crazy, man. Would be crazy. <laughs> it would be totally <laughs> nuts. I'm still really looking forward to these uh to this final. I think we're gonna see some some crazy tools from JC. Alright, here comes King Dragon. And BLS. And BLS. GG. I mean, BLS powerful on its own. King Dragon, yeah, that's gonna be the end of things. Yeah. Congrats. And was Congratulations it... to the... our finalists. There's another one, right? There's Gia versus... Um, I mean, that's that's going to be Gia versus Ghost Rider. We could watch it. In the interest of time, we might want to just get them both in. I do know... Let's watch it. it for yeah, let, let's watch it in... Fast forward, maybe. Just to have the record. There we go. Yeah. For anyone curious, we'll see how you know Gia's turbo compares to uh, a more, you know, old guard standard turbo that Ghost has been playing. Gia has Trinity pieces glued to her hand. Yeah, today. also very good start for Gia. Cause... Ghost Rider sensing uh, an urgent need to get rid of that pot. Um, we got a wall stall here. So this is how it's going to be, huh? It's very similar ends, yeah. by the way. Yeah. It's gonna be super stally, you know? <laughs> yeah, we did get this, you know, this Serp trick here. If you set your, if you get your Serp back, shuffle hand and then set face and fast enough. It's just Serp again. This is interesting because now, yeah, I can summon Thunder Dragon, but he's, he's a little bit stuck, you know? So that's an interesting yes. thing. And Gia unsticks him. 
the first spy. <laughs> Grace. There's graceful charity wow. and duo. Full yeah. trin for Kia. Dear me. Huge nobleman. I must say the board is quite hard there. That's a good nobleman yeah. right there for sure. But that's an even better heavy storm. Oh boy. We've got. My God, it's crazy. Did, did Ghost Rider just top deck a faith? No, he, he added it with uh, with uh, Sangan. <laughs> I had this moment. I was like, "Did he just? Did he? Did he do we have chat on our hands?" Wow, crazy! <laughs> that really that crazy. Was, that was insane. And we got another. We got another duo here. This is, I think, duo number three for Gia. Faith at the start is a pretty commanding start. Breaker counter huge, and there's huge, the nobleman. Huge, 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 Very huge. big. Wow. My yeah. control is a pretty big draw. Yeah, that's yeah. a free that's a free monster for you. I don't know if I would have attacked with that there. You would have summoned it in Unless defense. Ghost has a Ghost has a book? Oh no. Just has range. This isn't the worst thing. Now we're gonna see virus. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so he had book. Okay. It's actually a pretty good spot for him to use the spy the way he did. He storm. That's a bad one. That's a very bad suku, but you feel good. I have to imagine after blowing heavy like that, that's gonna be it for Gia here. Yeah. There is BLS with Solemn backup and Book backup. Wow, Snatch. Okay. Snatch, no. Okay. Declined. Wow. <laughs> Game free. That hardly went the way I expected. We're seeing Blade Knight from Ghost Rider. Oh my god, he actually did something different to the deck. Perhaps <laughs> this is just the new standard now? Saw this from Bounty but... and Ghost, although... We're it also was... seeing Gia playing right through it, so... Gotta admit, I don't know how... Ghost Rider! It, it's... I saw Ghost Rider negating more... Uh, what's the name? More breakers with judgment than anything else. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. You have to if... Okay, and that's it. Uh, it. You're gonna have to if your Blade Knight stays at 1600, which is gonna be pretty common for Turbo. Absolutely. Um, okay, uh, let me a little take a like transition into this for one second, and yeah, for this sure. this is our new banner, boys. I hope you like it. <laughs> and uh, I need to delete this, and we're gonna go on dwelling book. So give me a second to interact. Okay. If I if I tap off, I'm gonna freeze again. If you're, but I can I can I can fix it. I think, but I don't know. Right, exactly. One sec, one sec, one sec. I got this. I got this. Here we go. Ready? Go. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm on dwelling book. I'm gonna. I'm calling the people. We're letting them know. Okay. Gia, JC, if either of you are watching, you've been pinged. It is time for the grand finals of Obelisk 14 to see who is going to take home that invite. I didn't say anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> then gonna see a good then I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna stay with JCVD that it's playing a very unusual and very nice nice deck. So it's I, it, it would be quite an impressive and wonderful win. It would be I believe the first time Go Control has seen legitimate success. Um, since Jace in WCQ3. Um, and it's entirely different. Uh, he's playing his own Spice. So it's really a deck that seems like it can be the most expressive and interesting um, for uh, certain creative individuals. And I'm really excited to see this match go down. Uh, especially excited we got Gia on loser's side. So if Gia wins, uh, we're going to have to see a... Bracket reset. Call me rooting for the underdog, perhaps. 
Um, but this is hopefully going to be a riveting yeah, pair of matches. Um, and <sighs> JC agrees. He told me uh, earlier he's really hoping to get a much fairer match. He said he feels like he got lucky against Gia earlier and is hoping for a more fair match. And I'm hoping for the same here. Both of these players seem to have had train glue to their hands, steamrolling their opponents. <laughs> maybe we get something more balanced. Or maybe they both are drawing their trends left and right. That's always interesting, too. Uh, Bui, sorry. I'm gonna stop my stream to you so that you can watch directly on Dwelling Book. What do you think? Works for me. Okay. <laughs> okay, JZVD. Um, oh. I hope Wait, you... I need the camera still. Yeah, you need the camera, yeah. <laughs> Uh, did you see the watcher password, uh, Pui? I will take a look now. Don't, don't say it. Remember, don't say it, because that's... <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, so. shout out to Suski. <laughs> no, don't say it! <laughs> what? 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 Well, what are you, you talking about? If you say Suski, you're gonna, you're gonna... Everyone is gonna understand what's the password. <laughs> Okay, as soon as Gia is ready, we can we can stop watching. Uh, let me see if the stream is going well. I be right back. I'll be back in time for the game. Looking forward to it. Just hold. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, they started. Let's go and watch them. Okay. Okay, they're starting. <laughs> okay, Jesse, start with the gets the first. Draw. Yes, yes, it's the final. It will be saved on the on the stream. Yes. Here welcome, we go. Welcome back, Pui. JCVD wants the die the dice roll. So well, the paper, rock, scissor. <laughs> okay, we'll need another moment. It appears. Okay, Sangha. Set free. The shoot. Uh, Gia, please banish everything. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. JC, if you hear me, please. Show everything, like write it down somewhere. <laughs> okay, he's watching. the dragon choose by moth sorcerer and pot of grit pot interesting so now JC knows that he will either set a spy or uh, she will either set a spy or a magician of fate. And he probably has an answer for both. Yeah. Stand by. Main one. Okay. 
Meta? All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Wonderful change, All the joys of of the life. Going over at your parents' house. <laughs> I've now been I've now been uh, exiled to the laundry room. It appears. <laughs> it's enough. Uh, the true shadow room of any home. I come back to see JC with Dragoness, the Wicked Knight, and Abyss Soldier on the field. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, go ahead. Jason go ahead. mentioned the inclusion of Abyss uh, in, a, in his little interview, mentioning he wanted to get a little more aggressive today, so clearly we're seeing that coming out. Ooh. Wondering what the plan here is. Okay, basically, JC knows exactly all four cards in Gear's End. He knows two spies, one Sork and the Moth. And so JC used ah. this Sangan to add a Serpent and use Abyss Soldier to... To check them off, most probably. Or the spy. I got it. That's a pretty brutal spot for gear to be in. Absolutely. She has no real good place right now, because either they're gonna be negated by Abyss Soldier, or uh, like JC can predict those. So. You hate to see it if your name is Claire. <laughs> but also, this is some of the and it, some of the sweetest high-level goat gameplay I've seen in a while. So I'll take it. <laughs> those those are nice uh, uh, washing machines, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're pretty great. Yeah, that, this one actually, this dryer kind of sucks. <laughs> I can, can tell you a story. One day we were we were trying to. This thing, this thing just will stop working for, for like days at a time. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what you want. JC pushing for damage. I think that's a very, very smart idea. Uh, right we now... Got, we got the Lethia experience here for Gia. Yeah, because also right now Gia... Okay, Gia drawing to Thunder Dragon. That's, that's good. Because other way, he, she could have not attacked with them off. And so she would have just died. Right now, instead, she can summon Zork and banish uh, the Abyss Soldier. But that's, that's her only play. So if, uh, if JC has an answer to that, it's game. Can only do this for so long. JC, make a decision. <laughs> the most, the most noisy stream okay, ever. It okay, it resolves. Okay, the clear effect. Hopefully, that was not as bad as the keyboard typing. Okay, fine. No, it wasn't. <laughs> that's, <laughs> and that's crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. Remind me never to go into ASMR content. I will deafen an audience. I'll deafen the masses. Do we know any info on JC or is it just Gia? It's just Gia. We know about Serpent. We that yeah. JC has uh, JC has Serpent and that's it. We we just know that. Yeah, this that Thunder Dragon changed the game because without Co Sorcerer there was no way Gia was coming out of that situation. Absolutely. But if I am JC here, I do not want to be staring down. Wow. This, okay, take it back. Take it back completely. Huh. I... The set is a spy then? We're saying well, GG? Yeah. Oh, yeah. was Gee almost dead? Yeah, oh, it has one to. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah, crazy. Alright, I guess this is going to be game two of. Grand Finals of Obelisk 14. Open and shut. I, I would like JV, JC. Oh my god, J. Oh my god, uh, one second. JDZ, JDZ <laughs> voice saying Obelisk. JDZ, Saying it's the final of of Obelisk 14. He has, he has, a, he has a great voice. <laughs> shout out to JD. He's got a good voice. Absolutely. Yeah, shout out to JDZ Place Goats. Yeah. Make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe. 
every video, putting out some fantastic, engaging goat format content. Absolutely. JDZ, if you're watching, love you. Glad to have you here. Go check him out after the stream. <laughs> Good stuff, for real. Okay, I was gonna skip, but yeah, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Thunder. Hoping for a better start for Gia here. This could be everything, no pressure. Uh, but if there's anything Turbo can do, it can get Thunder Dragons and make you suffer. <laughs> so it begins, so it begins. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I would ever would li like to start with just a set monster against JC since we saw he plays the the level two exiled and all those cards that could uh... and abyss abyss serpent abyss. Here is just a free game. Yeah. But we're gonna see none of that. Okay. Wonder what's set here. If it's assailant, this that's gonna be big. Okay. Oh no. That's not very good. No, I can't. I don't like what that says about Kia's hand. Okay. But if there's anything Turbo can do, it's use Thunder Dragons, make you suffer, and the next draw is the best draw. And all of a sudden, the game's completely reversed. Decree? That's gonna be the end of Royal Decree there. Huge. All right, and now he is on the beat down. Yeah, she gained a happy, lot of. Happy tempo. Women's Day to DD World. Oh Warrior yeah, lady. absolutely happy. Welcome happy. To the, welcome. Yeah, Happy Women's Day. <laughs> welcome to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> uh, that's kind of her home in a way. That's where she likes to go. Again, crazy. That's a twofer. <laughs> and the cyber jar. <laughs> Huge. Oh my. I don't think that's what Gia was expecting on either of those knock plays, but both of them were quite good for her. Yeah. Maybe we'll see a three. Maybe we'll see. Maybe that's another boss for another knock. Both players' hands kind of looking absolutely terrible. Yeah, right they, they're very stuck. Like... <laughs> They're not doing anything. Ow. That's a morphing I'm jar now. <laughs> Why not? I actually think that's GK guard. Could be. Could be. Or uh, either that, uh, or it could just be the the um, fusilier dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is fusilier. Fusilier dragon. I feel it. <laughs> What, be, was JC also? Star. Yeah, was JC also playing spy? I don't think so, right? Uh, JC is only playing one guard. Okay. Yeah, Gia right, that right. Is guard and Gia doesn't have BLS, which she does. Wow. And that'd be good. Yeah, this is here. This is. Oh. I mean, this is fine. Once Cyberjar and Lady are gone, you know what? What else is gonna stop Sork from just killing it? Yeah, you, you, would go, you would go with... Interesting. Interesting. I don't love that. No, I would have attacked with Sork. Yeah. Unpunished. Whoa. Oh, okay. Ah, that's terrible. That's not the ticket for No, JC. absolutely not. Let's see. All right. There's still all the chances in the world that he can... I mean, just summon tribe, discard one, and destroy three monster. it's not bad, you know? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no, four monsters. Four, yeah, absolutely, yes, yes. It's, yes. A, it's, a, it's a one for four. <laughs> yeah. And even doing Gabby Soldier... And start attacking the um, the thunder dragon so you don't put darks in the grave. 
could be an idea, but that's terrible because then he can attack you and and destroy his own. BLS. Crazy. BLS. I believe JC is not playing any sorcerer. Of all the crazy cards he is playing, there's no sorcerer. I would have banished. And I'll explain you why now, because he has a steel thunder dragon in hand, and you don't really want him yeah. to to summon something else. Maybe JC has backup for this, but I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, probably he does. That's, well, he has royal decree, but that's nothing. He needs at least one royal yeah, decree, that's not, that's not one book. Uh, Mm, that's not good. Doesn't seem he has it unless he's making the big brain plays, but I can't be so sure. Perhaps he's just trying to break through the line quicker and just kill Gia before it doesn't matter. Yeah, you see? Just like you said, here comes the Chaos yeah, Monster. It was probably be all she wrote. very predictable. Yeah. It doesn't it... matter. JC already has it... JC already has fiber jar set. None of this matters. <laughs> it is still acceptable, you know. If you can not die from for this turn, you can still get your game. Like you can still play it. It just depends what Gia is doing now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, obviously, recur third knock here is going to be the end if somehow she has the. Uh... Sugiomi or the book, but I have my doubts because I have a feeling that would have already happened. Yeah. Um, JC would actually be dead if that had already happened. Maybe just weighing the risks and rewards of just going I th okay. I think it was a very bad play to, to not have banished with BLS. Oh, awful. Simply awful. Yeah. No, I, th I think yeah. it should have. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely should have. Because... He had no way to send both a dark and a light at the, at the graveyard at the same time. He had no way of summoning more than one monster that turn, because he had only one mm, free slot. And he could get the time yeah. to draw into something that could protect his BLS. And yeah, you would lose yeah, from Snatch, but you, you would lose from Snatch anyway, so... Yeah. Always just accept those moments and play as if they don't have it, because mm -hmm. if you yeah, can't yeah. play around it, then why are you doing anything else? Yeah. Same so. thing with Heavy Storm and your set three. Yeah, if you, if you have Storm, to, you just, gotta... you just, yeah, you just have to. But fortunately for us, we've got some good content, good spectacle, time for game three of this grand finals. Can't wait to see some more wild cards from both of these contestants. <laughs> Pui, you know I'm watching Girl, I love you too, and GTE. <laughs> JDZ. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good to have you. Yeah. Winner of this game wins the obelisk. Uh, I believe this is... No, I believe that Gia has to get a bracket reset. Oh, she has a... Oh, oh yeah. Right, right, right. They they still have another game, uh, another match to play in case, right? Who's... That is, is a it... good hand from Gia. Yeah. Even without the faith, that is a good hand. Thank you, thank you, Gia. And um, who is coming from the winner bracket of the two? Uh, JC. Okay, so... so okay, okay. means we get the reset. Okay, okay. Which is, that's, that's, that's the only reason I want Gia to win this game. No other reasons. <laughs> Happy Women's Day, Gia. <laughs> And then 
here you want to go into charity anyway, because you at least oh, no don't, give, don't give knowledge to your opponent. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, I would also. Not doing anything on the sound. I would also say I would use Typhoon because we know JC knows, like, has judge. Yeah, exactly. We know he plays oh. Judgment. You see? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would do it every day. I forgot about the Judgment. No, no, I played it game one, so. So, so, so Judgment and Decree. Yeah, I mean, I that's that's pretty scary. That's interesting. That's like, but I don't think he's playing three decrees. You know? I didn't see the list, so I'm talking. For what I, I saw. I, I think it's two and two. Yeah. Something I, like that. It's acceptable. It's acceptable and it's also unpredictable. Very That's... wild. Absolutely. Sometimes it's not about card inclusions. Like, like obviously having Cyberjar and GK Guard and, and Fusilor is really unpredictable. But just the fact that you have to be like, is that Solemn Judgment or Royal Decree? Yeah. And just how different those considerations are is really difficult to play around oh never love seeing thunder dragon after the graceful charity but it seems Let like see. has Let's completely just... rehanded herself Set one yeah. pass. You only wonder what she's kept here besides the Thunder Dragons and the Heavy Storm. But it never feels good to filter that much, only to not really have much of a hand afterwards. Perhaps Gia is intent on playing it slow if JC is until she can rebuild a bit. It's quite an aggressive footing JC took with the trap dust shoot there. And the uh, Solemn potentially on the Trinity piece, only for that to be thwarted, so it's probably Gia's game to recover from if yeah. JC's not gonna go for the throat here. I can see a mask of darkness now. <laughs> they could expect yes. it. <laughs> or it, or it could be uh, a penguin soldier doesn't do anything here. Yeah. Maybe it's green kappa. Green kappa, man, it would be great. <laughs> green kappa. Dude, where did green kappa go? That card's kind of busted. It's uh, like it there's a lot of problems. Man. It has a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too know. many problems. <laughs> it's it's a, isn't it a dark? I think it's no. I think it's hurt. Maybe I don't know. I don't remember. Green Kappa is a dark. A dark. Yeah, that's interesting. And JC is going to heavy storm Gia's power cards. Okay, he got TT and ring. That's huge. Really big. Doing absolutely nothing is a great way to counter those cards. Interesting. Uh, I'm always of this, this school that says use Storm when you can really gain advantage from it, you know? Like, okay, you got a plus one, but what about getting more of a plus one or a plus one when you can or need to OTK? And I'm... Yeah, or killing them, like, absolutely. Yeah. I think that this is, even more than before, this is now Gia's game just to get back into. Yeah. That, if that is Moth, is going to hurt a lot for her. Oh. And that is the end of a potential comeback opportunity right there. No faith coming. All three gone. I cannot be... Oh. And JC has one, at least. I mean, and JC has we don't one. know. But... So maybe that's why he used it when he did. Yeah. 
because you can just get it back. I mean, so yeah. You're seeing the first major play of the game here with this Abyss Soldier. Probably has the stuff to back it up. It does have the Loaded Grave. Also has blown through some of her best cards here. Without making much of a dent on these life points. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just we'll one cast monster too. So... Let's see. Let me see. Okay. Now, if Gia has her own serpent, this is actually going to be quite good. Just got a little better. I would have activated the effect first. Yeah. If you well, if you can. Oh yeah, yeah. But. I guess she does not have Serp, judging from that. Very unfortunate, JC did have the Mirror Force. That was a big comeback opportunity blown as well. Very unfortunate here. It just does not feel like Gia exactly has the cards to be handling what JCV is doing right now. And that's them off. <laughs> Almost certainly. Yeah. Mind control would be big here, but I don't know if... Okay. Right back at you with my own knock. Interesting. It's pretty good. None of them has tempo right now. Like, they, they are not doing much. <laughs> and the opponent is still countering it, so... Yeah. This is certainly a long game sort of situation, though. Yeah, but... I think... Gia's powerful cards are... I think in long game, Gia has a little bit more of edge. Even if uh, the Magician of Fate are gone. Because she can still pull out free uh, Chaos Monster. That's true. That is not something JC can do. I'm thinking mostly about the deck size advantage, the life point advantage, and just the, the potential power. Even if there are these Chaos Monsters, JC's deck is designed to go long. True. I don't know if he's still playing Goats. Uh, I don't know if he was playing Goats at all. We were yet to see one in... Yeah, we any didn't see any. These matches? Yeah, I think he's playing it's only the metamorphosis ever. for the level 7, level 1, level 8, level 3. That's it. That's very interesting. Hmm. At that point, can you even call this Goat Control? You can't call it Chaos Control. It's got no Chaos Sorcerer. You can't call it Turbo. It's not really doing Turbo things. You can't call it Goat Control. There's the... Pro Storm from Gia. JC responds with the Pro Jar. <laughs> Is Gia set also a jar? Or. No, Gia's not even playing jar. Oh my god. Interesting. Oh my god. It's the first time I see this happening in my life. I've never seen this before. That never. is confounding. Never. I am very interested to see her rationale on that one. <laughs> Would have been funny if JC answered with a solemn judgment. Ah, it was duo. Yeah. So, curious to see what Gia's last card is here. Wow! Oh my, oh my god. That was good. Okay. Very right. good, very good. I she had the right idea. It's gotta be a Chaos Monster. Yeah, absolutely. All right, she is making him have it. Uh, Snatch Duel is not gone from JC's deck. And neither, right neither Ring of Destruction. So, yeah. <laughs> Ring is also not gone. Yeah. It, this uh, is a dangerous game. Very dangerous Leaf for Gear. Leaf Gear's debating tribute set Thunder Dragon. Uh... I don't know if I would do it. Uh, Let me see. 23 out of... I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, because if you do it and then he has an answer to your... Uh, like another Abyss Soldier or something like and that. And there's the GG. There's the Snatch. Yeah. Oh.
Oh no. Congrats. All right. Well, congratulations to JCVD. What a fantastic run. What a fantastic victory. What creative, interesting card inclusions and plays from both players. Absolutely. Truly a good showing. I guess this has been your Obelisk 14. And congratulations to JCVD for uh, Biggest congratulations. for his word uh, invite. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to you. Big shout out to Gia. Good hustle. Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry to see things end up that way. <laughs> um, and uh, shout out to everyone watching. Yeah, Hope absolutely. Thanks, guys, for following us. And see you at the next Obelisk, I guess. And See you at the next album. Also, this Saturday there's um, the Grand Prix in London, so and I'll be there. So yes. if you're so. in the area, go see Calcifer. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if you're not in the area, go see Calcifer. He's flying from Italy. Yeah, <laughs> with a with a friend. Yeah, we are flying together. I'm staying at Jinzo's place. He's staying at his sister's place, and and we are playing Saturday. So finger crossed. And have a nice, have a good night, guys. <laughs> See ya. Good night.